All right, today's video, we're going to discuss uh, building a web or a Flask web application. It's going to be a very simple uh, web page. Just going to say hello world. We're going to be using Python 3.7. Everything in this video should be applicable to Python 3 or newer. Uh, we're going to create a virtual environment which will host this web app and uh, we will uh, check it out using uh, hosting it locally um, by going to localhost. All right, so first things first, I'm in a directory that I want to start with. I'm going to uh, create a folder or directory, call it example. All right, let's CD into this example. All right, now uh, Python's already installed. Uh, it comes pre-installed with pip. So now I need to make sure I have Flask installed. Um, so what you see might be a little different than what I have, but let's check it out. Okay, requirement already satisfied. So I already have Flask installed, um, but you may see something different here, but pip install Flask is, is the command that you want to run. Now what we want to do is we want to install the virtual environment package. Uh, so we're going to type pi-m pip install dash dash user virtual env. This may already be installed for me as well. Requirement satisfied. I'm using the most. Um, uh, you can see the version I'm using here, 10.0.1 of the pip. Um, but yeah, like I said, you might see something different as well. Once you once you've got this installed, we need to create an environment. So we're going to do pi dash m virtual. Yeah, virtual env, and then the name env. All right, this is uh, setting this up for me. All right, installing. All right, we've got our environment built. Now what we want to do is we want to activate this uh, environment. So we're going to do dot slash, I think it's env, env, scripts slash activate. And as you can see, the beginning of our line now, we, we have this notation of env that we are in our environment. It is activated and it's working. Now what we want to do is we want to create a Flask, very basic Flask application. So in the background here, I have a predetermined, go ahead and uh, we'll just remove this down below. So we have our, from Flask, we're going to import this, um, define hello. Uh, we're going to return this to hello world once this is running. The, the route is a slash, so it's pretty much going to be at our local host, uh, 5000 slash. Let's go ahead and save this. A link to this file, in case you don't want to type all that out, will be out on our GitHub, and I will put that in the description of the video, as well as where to install a Python. All right, let's go ahead and save as. We're going to go out to our Flask folder example. We're going to save it here, not inside the env. We're going to save, we're going to title this app.py. All right, now let's go back to our command prompt. I'm going to run pi uh, app.py all right actually do we need to move that into our um let's make sure we don't let's see make sure okay here we go so so what we need to install once we create the virtual environment we need to install flask in that environment so i have flask installed on my local machine um, but it's not in uh, being recognized once we activate that virtual environment. Now let's um, uh, run. I'm hitting up on my keyboard. Let's see, where are we at? Scripts, here we go. We're already in there. All right, so now we've activated. As you can see, it's running. Now let me pull up our my local host. All right, let's hit refresh. And as you can see at the top left here, we have hello world. Uh, so our uh, application is running. As you can see, once I once I hit refresh, we have this uh, log or this record where it's it's doing a git. Uh, we can hit refresh again. All right, so nothing nothing new. Okay. Um, well, that's pretty much it. This is step one of getting this up and running. We're gonna have this is gonna be a series of videos. I'm gonna show you uh, each video will progress and improve the web application all the way from hosting it onto a Linux server uh, being hosted by AWS. 
uh, we'll, we'll do authentication, we'll do all kinds of stuff along the way. So once you get this working, once everything is in your virtual environment, what we can do is we'll hit uh, Control C. Let's see if that'll work. Or is it deactivate? There we go. There we go. Control C. Uh, oh yeah, that, that's why that didn't work. Okay. Um, all right. So now we are we are out of an environment. We've deactivated it, so we no longer have the env in the beginning of our line. Uh, so we're back to normal, and we are in our uh, uh, command. So, all right. Well, thanks for watching the video. If you have any comments or questions, uh, leave those down below. Don't forget to subscribe uh, and like the video if it really was helpful. And then stay tuned for future videos. All right. Have a great day. Thank you.